Welcome to Beulah Heights University, and more specifically to the course, the introduction to the Hebrew Bible or Old Testament. I'm Dr. Percy Johnson. I'll be your instructor this semester. And I really am elated and excited that you have chosen to engage in conversation about the Hebrew Bible, Old Testament. While many times we have read the different stories that have been canonized, we usually don't really take a look at the context and how that context informs and influences the content, the material in which we read. We really don't delve into the different books to see, well, what does it mean for this people who start out as this mixed multitude, how it shapes their worldview, how theologically they come to understand this God that they will call El, Elohim, Adonai, Yahweh, how that understanding shapes their worldview and how they see other cultures, how they journey through this Eastern Mediterranean region and how they ultimately come to be this people of God. Were there other people before? that really saw themselves as God's people. And which God? Baal? Or these other gods of the Sumerians? Or other groups within inside of this Mediterranean region? And what makes these people so significant? Even as we have identified in our biblical narrative, our biblical story, these different characters, where are these characters all Hebrew people are a part of this Israelite narrative, or were there other people that the writers identified as sons of God? And so as we begin this time, we're going to be looking at the authorship, the dating of this material, this literature, and when was it comprised, and how was it comprised, and what does that mean as we begin to look at the full narrative of what we call salvation history, what God is doing, or what God was doing, or what God had done, and which God was doing it, how these different groups, how even the Israelites saw God in different ways during their different times of either exile or captivity, or when they are in the land of promise. I'm looking forward to wrestling with you. One of the questions that I want to really press forward to you is, what does this story mean for you? What does it mean in your present day situation and life? What is God's truths? And when did these truths become truths for us and for all people? As we start looking at the different stories, we look at the prophets. Why did they have to come on the scene? When did they come on the scene? Well, what are these laws? Did Egypt have laws that were predating of these laws, these Ten Commandments? And if they were, did these Israelite people, did they shape their laws from these laws that the Egyptians had? Or what about the Code of Hammurabi, these business letters? Did Israel borrow from that? Did they borrow from other cultures? And how did that impact the way that they were to live in communion and community with each other and with other nations. As we walk through these segments, what are the major prophets and who are these latter prophets or these 12 prophets? What does all this mean in this time for us in our present day situation when economically we are struggling, politically we are being marginalized? Could it possibly be? that these stories carry with them truths that can help us reshape community and that could help us look at how we arrive at the decisions and the choices that we must make in this what we would call polarized time. I really am excited about looking at and looking with you into these segments, these understandings of these scriptures and this biblical writ particularly as we look at these not only characters, but look at these truths that have long guided a Western culture. Welcome. I'm looking forward to our time together. I pray and hope you are as well.